No, the, the God of the Bible is not the same as the God of the Quran. Now here's what I mean when I say that. The crucial question is, in the Muslim claim to be worshiping the true God, I would assume that they mean they truly know him, they truly honor him, they truly love him. And those are the three words that Jesus Christ says that those who claim to love and honor and worship God do not do if they do not love him, honor him, and worship him. And so when he says that in John and in Matthew, that if you loved me, you would love the Father. If you received me, you'd love the Father. If you honored me, you would honor the Father. If you knew me, you would know the Father. So any religion, whether it's Judaism, Pharisaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, or Islam, that claims to know the true God, but rejects Christ crucified and risen as the true Son of God, they, in doing that, Jesus says, reject God. So the litmus paper of whether anybody is worshiping the true God, knowing the true God, loving the true God, is whether they worship and know and honor and love Jesus Christ. Islam explicitly denies Jesus is the Son of God, denied that he died for sins, denied that he rose from the dead, and in those denials they are denying the Father, and therefore the claim that they're truly worshiping the Father is not true.